Hello and welcome back to this, the third part in our tutorial series looking at Pixar's Renderman Image Tool. Um, where we left the previous tutorial, I was having difficulty actually using the color drag command, which is from here, right click and drag and color. I was having difficulty dragging it from the image tool into a color picker for slim. The reason being, as I may have explained, the screen buffer here is actually being taken up by my recording software. So that's the reason why it just won't work when I'm recording, but it did actually work, so I did manage to save this across. So let's just leave that there. Try it for yourself, it does work. And the next thing which we'll look at here, because we worked our way down through most of this menu here, right-click menu is where we get to most of our commands within it in this current iteration, for want of a better word. So we worked our way down through the drag commands. Multi allows you to do various different commands with a single um, setup, but I find it a little bit confusing, so I avoid using it. You can try playing with it to your heart's content. Um, it will actually do crop and pan and other things with left and right clicks and all that kind of thing. Um, so the windows, which we can actually have open at any one time, it, as we mentioned before, is actually this list. Okay, that's the it window. This is our catalog window. Other windows which we have, the console window. So this allows us to actually do some coding inside um, the image tool. There are two different ways of coding. Please, there's Iceman script and something else which I can't remember. Not something I'm going to get into in great detail here, possibly down the line in a year or two, if I get a chance to do some more work on it. Might do some stuff on that. Preferences. So these are the general preferences, which will cover some of the image tool and some of Slim. Slim, you should be aware of as well, is external tool which works with Maya. So some of these are common. For instance, the display compensation um, will be common with Slim. Not much there. I want to actually optimize or change. I just take it as it comes out of the box. Other windows we have here, message log. If you're getting any errors thrown up, they'll come up here in the message log. Again, what we'll have down here is a workspace editor. Let's have a look at this. So this will actually say where things are located. So it's more to do with the setup of RenderMan Studio itself. Again, I just take vanilla out of the box, the way in which it works. Um, color picker, which yes, we can actually see their colors here. And we should be able to take color from here and drag it across to here, but it won't work because a screen buffer doesn't work. So that's another way of actually getting access to a color picker. Um, what would be next? Raise all. So let me just close some of these down here. Raise all is a useful command to actually have to remember. So if I close this, I don't want to actually close that. Um, let me just cancel that command. Let me just minimize this. I meant to minimize. So if I go to Windows and I raise all, it basically raises any windows which are open, brings them up to the forefront so we can actually get access to them. It's quite handy if you've got complicated or busy task bars. So it's use, useful and worthwhile to have around. Um, about it tells you what it is, what particular version it is. Um, generally sort of the kind of help file about that you get. And also really useful if you go to the it documentation, it is your help file. And I've got a bunch of them open here at the moment. So you've got the it quick reference user reference. I advise everybody to read through this. It's really worthwhile and useful and we'll go into the stuff we've been covering here, but in a written format which people may find um, useful for remembering. Some people prefer to actually read. Some people like to watch um, these tutorials. Well, at least I hope you do. So that will get us to there and we can also go through the windows to the Renderman forums, which again, I've got them open here at the same time. Let me just see where they are. So Renderman forums are open here. And yeah, you'll if you have a question, you can put a question there. I may answer, but I'm not often actually on there. Um, but you'll find one of the excellent support staff from Pixar 
will probably answer quite quite rapidly. I find them really, really good for sorting out the technical issues, which I have. Okay. After the Windows. Now, we're only halfway down through this um, list of commands, but we're actually mostly through the important stuff. The next section here, most of these in this segment are where the guts of it lie. The next um, section is commands. Now, apply view mapping. What does this do? What this does is it actually applies the gamma correction, which we're getting in our view here, to a saved image. Now, I'll show you what I mean by this. If I go to image and I save the image, okay, so I'm going to save this image. I'm going to save it as, this is going to be saved as uncorrected or unapplied. Okay, now I'll just go and I'll go to save again, right click and I'll go to image, save image, and I won't actually save it, I'll just open it here. Preview. So you'll see that this is significantly darker than this. The reason being is that this has not actually had the gamma correction applied to it. Okay, if I go here, let me just close this down. If I go here and I go to command and apply view mapping, what it actually does is applies the mapping which is set under our preferences. So at the moment, the display compensation is set rendered to sRGB. Okay, so if I go to command, apply view mapping with this particular image, which is, okay, here we are. And I'm going to save this. So image, save image. I'm going to save this as applied. Save. Okay. So I've got unapplied and applied. Let's have a look at both of these. So let's preview. There's the applied. Let's just move this over so we can actually see it. There's the applied and there's the unapplied. You can see these. That is the difference. One is saving out the alpha corrected, one is saving out the unalpha corrected. It is up to you which you will actually use, partly down to your art director's choice, um, partly down to what you're doing with the final image. In general, you'd like the art director to see the image that you're seeing here, which is the corrected. But it could be different in your case. Okay, so that's what this command here. The command is within command and apply view mapping. Now, the next little section down here, let me just close this down, we don't require that. Next little command down here is burn in notes. Now, we haven't looked at putting any notes on yet, but let's just do this. So, let's go to notes, which is just down below in the next section, notes. And there are some notes already written in here, which are basically things which Renderman has done to this, to this image, so save this stuff. I can just put in some more notes. This was made by Mark Flanagan, who types very loudly. Okay, if I now go to Command and I burn in notes, just getting a little window raised here. Okay, so it's asking me size, text size, but 24 is probably going to be okay. Go okay. Let's save this image. Image, save image. I'm going to save this as notes. Let's re-raise this, so let's go to image, save image, and I should have notes here, preview. We actually have this saved, and the font is across there, but because it's a white background, it's very hard to actually read um, 